precious when binding you to the earth. You, I remember you. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Riddles and rhymes. You took my life. Now you insult my mind. Be stilled, my child. I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. For the earth is bleeding, and the harvest is upon us. Stay away! Whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion! But of course you are. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical threat. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. 
When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the queen of blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is, at the same time, both less and more. Tell me what it is, then, in your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke, for you will have purified its source. And then what? 
What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. So our beloved mother will just go back to sleep, now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. And what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game? She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way. But you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? I noticed that all the Icors were female, as if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman, as was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling world. Icors seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics, or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord Redgrave definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. What will become of the vampire hunters? In their leader, 
You now have a spy behind enemy lines. By guiding your progeny, you may yet protect your immortal friends for some time to come. If you dare. What will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new Primate. But I'm certain the current Primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No, she is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons. And to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words you no longer hear the simplest ones. Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat sworn of this generation. Is he here? Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you too. When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son, as is William Marshall. This is madness. How many have you created? Who else? Shakespeare? Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Speak clearly, then, and answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon.